Okay. Hi, this is Sheila with Conscious Conversation Central, and I'm joined by BZ Rieger and Danny Lunacy is his channel name, and thank you both for, for joining me. And it is Saturday. February. Why did I want to say December again? <laughs> I did that last night. No, it's February the 10th. I have to ask Lisa if she's thinking about 12 from the other room. Remember last night? That's <laughs> what happened. That's wild. Okay. So it is Saturday, February the 10th, 2018. Someplace, yeah. Yeah, someplace. <laughs> and so I, I thank you both for joining me. And we're going to talk about, BZ, you, you said it was unbinding and unwinding is what you called it. Mm -hmm. What is your perception <laughs> of unbinding and unwinding? Well, what we're all doing right this moment. So in this, these moments of, unfolding um and the and when i hold it it's from the very big 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 picture um so all of the false construct all of the um, uh, polarity and um you know kind of the push me pull you that we seem to be in uh, it all has to be unbound and unwound so that we can, remember I talked about that we, we were the trajectory going away, you know, source wanted to know source, uh, M I M I M going away. And as we come back, then we can all have the um, physical body ascension where we become factualized singularities in that. So in order to do that, we need to unbind and unwind everything. Everything within us, everything within our cellular memory, everything within the perceived construct, so everything in the judicial system, everything in the political system, everything. You start with a capital E. Okay, now I have to say that the moment that you said unbinding and unwinding, I... And knowing to our conversation from, um, oh, I think it got on camera, in regards to the, our conversation of the codes and keys of compassion, you mentioned the spell around money. Mm -hmm. And anytime there's, I mean, there's, I've read enough and watched enough movies to know that spells there's binding that goes along with spells and things like that. So, and knowing that we had that conversation. So there is that, that, that makes a lot of sense in what you said about the unbinding and two, um, I got a flash of, um, yarn or whatever you know or a spool of thread there's an unwinding and an like if you bind up something like um then i was thinking of a mummy too you bind a mummy up so there's a lot of a lot in that though isn't there oh yeah <laughs> beginning with a big e everything yeah, the big e. <laughs> everything at all so <laughs> You can pick any direction, just turn in any direction, and we can play with it. <laughs> but now, would you say that this unbinding and unwinding has been going on for a while, and we just weren't aware of it? Or is it just begun? No, it's been going on f for a bit, and as the frequencies uh, that have been coming to the planet have been coming in, in more, it's, it's definitely, if you wanted to you know, put a stake in the ground, pick a time point you like this conversation come on up um oh. definitely since 2012 it's been <laughs> unbinding and unwinding he likes the energy of this one so he, he says yes danny this is, Danny, this is the, we get to the good stuff when we unbind and unwind stuff so but yeah i would say if you wanted to put a placeholder in a, in a you know kind of a linear way 
um, the 1111 portal on 11, so the 11111 portal on November 11th, uh, 2011, and then the 122112 um, the <clears throat> would be a good place, you know, to put a loose demarcation of the beginning of all of this. Okay. That's another, another good one, <laughs> which was a demonstrable one, because it really was the end of the world as we know it, which would have been, oh, look at that, another <laughs> 12, 21, 17. So, and with that, uh, you know, the EO um, 31818. Yeah, so that, that apparently was no uh, accident that it was on that date. Right, okay. Nope. That's interesting. I hadn't considered that. I mean, I, I did, but not in terms of the other two events. Interesting. Okay. Well, it was five years. What that was was five years. Five years between the the twelve twenty one twelve. So the five years for completion. Actually, if anybody. Just this is one part of the unbinding and wanting, but if anybody has ever <clears throat> looked at the bunch of UCC filings um, from the One People's Public Trust 1776, um, you would notice in there that there was a five year clause to come around to all the end of that. Unbind and unwind it. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> So they're, they're dots in all, in everything that all connect to each other. Wow. Okay. So I've, I had, you know, as you know, I did not, I wasn't following all of that at that point. So I did not know that there was that clause in there that there was, I have heard, you know, things about the five year, um, Mark from 2012 from other, you know, well, honestly, the only other person I'd heard it from was, um, David Lawrence Palmer, the Leo King. He's and he was referring to an astrological time stamp, not, you know, not as far as amazing I'm, the coincidence, huh? <laughs> Yeah, and and that had absolutely nothing to do with the OPPT or the UCC filings or anything like that. So, but it is, I well, the more... Because everything's just in isolation. <laughs> Nothing's connected. <laughs> wow, okay, so... And you could find all sorts of other things that would be just that, just that thing. And so... As someone who's really just kind of, you know, for crap's sake, I really thought I was awake. <laughs> and just in this moment right now, I'm like, wait a minute, have I real? I don't know that I've been awake at all. In this moment, just now, I'm like, holy crap, there's a whole lot of stuff I still don't, still had no idea about. And so, in this unbinding and this unwinding, besides my own noticing of my creator beingness, which I'm, <laughs> I'm really expanding at the moment, so please forgive me, I'm about as dizzy as I can be. Because that realization... She's gone quantum Danny. You yes. get to see it first in person now. <laughs> I'm holding space. Thank you. <laughs> You're so funny. Thank you. Quantum thing. <laughs> so what 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 is a a a, a creator being who's just waking up to that fact to do, I guess, is my question because um I mean, I, you know, I want to help and be of service and all of that. So in this unbinding and unwinding, what is uh, the role 
to, to be, I mean, you know, I don't know what, okay, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I just got something yelling at me in my head and I know it's me. Part of it is what I'm doing now. And I get that. Okay. I, I do. I get that. I guess. So then all of a sudden now my head said, well, is that enough? <laughs> I don't know. Is it, am I? So see, you just gave us a beautiful illustration of one little tiny piece of the unbinding and unwinding. So where, where the, the, the mind from the programming, from the lack of authorship of your own perception, reference previous video, <laughs> right. right? You know, all, that's just one little tiny piece of it. And, and you did it on camera. So, like I said, you really can to understand. So, a very simple way to to understand and get a glimpse of what is unwinding and unbinding. So, turn and look at any any subject, any focus, any industry, any sector, any anything in in your life, in your personal life, in your physical being you know, in your familiar life, in your work life, in school, crossing the street, anything. And, and you will then start to notice as you, you let your eyes to see and your ears to hear, right? Take in, you'll see that it has to unravel. Because within all of that unbinding and unwinding, right? It's, it's kind of a combination like we're all doing right this moment where we're imploding, all of ourselves are imploding back into us and we are actually also emerging or expanding, exploding onto the scene of the new earth. You ever watch slow motion, um, really time-lapse photography of a flower opening? I Okay, so in this moment of expansion, the moment you said, have you ever seen, I knew you were going to say flowers opening. So that's a first for me. Hey, that's telepathy. I know. To, to, that's what I'm trying to say here. That's an absolute first for me. And I'm gobsmacked by that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yay. Wow. So that's one of the results. Why is unbinding and unwinding really cool? <laughs> yeah. It's a collective journey, but we've all got to walk it individually. Well, because as I was sitting here before you, when you had said in your own life, when you turn and look at things, there have been lots of things in my own personal life, unbinding and unwinding. Mm -hmm. Wow. And so, Danny did an awful lot <clears throat> In a lot of his videos, one comes to mind of unbinding and unwinding for himself. And for those who were, you know, there's had a whole cadre of people who were over for coffee looking over his shoulder as he, you know, went through the video and did it. Um, uh, of, you know, just in his observations, just in, you know, huh, you know, huh, and looking at different stuff for himself. And then he was giving voice to it. So he was moving through it and flowing through it. And it was all really a, yes, it was a YouTube video and there was a camera and a computer and, you know, headset and all that kind of stuff. But what it really was, was an energetic, he had opened up an energetic envelope in that moment and had a whole bunch of other beings who came right in they were all having coffee and they're sitting around with him and they were not only watching this, but they were partaking of it and participating in it and part of the expansion, they were part of the unwinding and the unbinding of the particular focus that was going on in that video. So, um, 
one way, one point to bring up is that oftentimes we can do it without knowing truly that we're doing it. And a good sense to know that you're, that you might be doing that is if you're coming from your heart and your heart is leading the show and there's a heart opening and not your mind think, 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 thinking it to that. The mind is there. There's, there's cog cognitive, you know, participation going on. It's just not leading the show. Yeah, the mind is more like the librarian for the direct observations, and the direct observations have to be the foundation. Mm -hmm. you, you know, if the source is the mind, well, where did the mind get that? Mm -hmm. okay. Well, mine's not, ha hasn't been giving me as much issue of late, although it still tries to run the show. <laughs> um. However, the moment it does, as was witnessed last night, my heart says, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> with, with a bit of a pang, that expansion feeling that I've been experiencing. Mm -hmm. So that's a really good, that was a really good example for myself last night to know, to notice and and recognize that 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 will help me i feel it's one way for me to recognize when my when my brain my mind is trying to lead the show yeah and in that moment you were actually unwinding and unbinding programming habit deferring you know it was on a well actually you did it for yourself in a personal way, but because of one of the parts of your mission here, you actually did it not only for those who were in the conversation and watching the conversation and partaking the conversation, but you've actually put it into the collective consciousness. Yeah, you've shown, you've shown a whole lot of people the behavior of you allowing yourself to, uh, to what, let 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 the old go and and to take on the new. Uh -huh. Well, I you know it feels important in this moment of now to say that that's not uh, always an easy thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. This has been witnessed by many at this point. <clears throat> of my own uh, journey, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, in front of this camera. So. And, and anytime someone, just to kind of give a, a, a little bit more <clears throat> placeholders, we'll say, for what unbinding and unwinding is. I mean, we can, you can, we can pick something specific to play with that, but. Um, if someone is watching um, something unfold, maybe it's, you know, is something around the release of the memo, right? Or um, around the election or, you know, around a alleged case in Eastern Tennessee, whatever it is, right? And they look at something and, and you know, they might characterize themselves as, you know, um, awake and, and um you know, uh, coming from more of an expansive place, that kind of thing, right? And then they look at something and they say, well, that's not right. That's not fair. That's, you know, right? So in that moment, again, they're giving, when they give voice to something, they have actually brought it into matter. And they've, they've illuminated what was bound up and wound up and constrained and constricted and even if they don't realize it, the very act of saying that's, that's not right, that's something wrong with that, they've started the unbinding and the unwinding process. Because you, you need to see it and at least become aware of it. You don't have to dive deep and roll in the mud with it, right? <clears throat> but when you have that awareness of it, 
then you can integrate it. And it can be then just observed, not without judgment and any of those kinds of things. And it can be unwound. So, <clears throat> okay. So going with that, there's an awful lot of things, some, some horrific mm -hmm. that, you know, and now I'm speaking in terms of the satanic ritual abuse and that sort of thing that, that has occurred on the planet that those who have done research over the years of these sorts of things who have witnessed them or, you know, not in person, of course, but, you know, been exposed and by just the act of seeing those things and speaking about them or, you know, trying to bring them out, even in the event that, um, you know, being called conspiracy theorists and, and all of these sorts of things that, that have taken place would, am I then, because this is, it feels to me that that is would then just that act of doing that was assisting in that unbinding and unwinding. Absolutely. Absolutely. And also assisting in a precursor preparation for as more things flow, because what's out there right now and the amazing research and um, um, revelations and dots that have been found to connect um, it, there's just a few shavings on the tip of the iceberg of, of what is to come. That would be a simple way to say it. So yes, in that moment of doing that research and, and all of that open heartedness, how, even if that's not how they would language it, um, that is part of the unbinding and unwinding. And it's also, <clears throat> like I say, it's, it's laying the, it's, laying the ground, helping the foundation and the precursor to more of the unbinding and unwinding that will come, which because the very act of them doing that, whatever they did and, you know, however they did it, right, um, will make that flow more, with more ease. All of a sudden, this conversation feels so huge to me like that whole feeling that I had standing on the precipice of that alleged case in Tennessee. I feel the, the hugeness of that right now. It's like coursing through me and it's just, uh, wow. That's why I was given the topic to suggest if you wanted to play with. Because we're in it now. We're fully in it now. It's all on. And, um, you know, <clears throat> there, are, there will be moments where it's hard, very hard, would be one description of it. But it's incredibly beautiful because uh, what, what is the scope of what is on the other side that's not a right way to put it but i'm going to use it as a linear place so the, the scope the breadth and depth and sublime magnificent magnificence that is on that flows from that is um it's unimaginable well see i'm not sure what i'm feeling and that's why i I just feel the bigness and it's not that I'm afraid of that at all. As I could say, I can't even describe it any further than that. It's just the feeling of the, the bigness. Yeah. You're, you're touching from my read of it. You're touching and glimpsing the beauty of 
Dude, I can't believe that's exactly the word I had in my head again. Have I mentioned we're creator beings? <laughs> well, hey, the other day I had the, uh, I was the one that was all full of tears and <laughs> I really should have had a bunch of tissue standing by. I keep a box right over here. I'm, I'm glad I passed the torch over to you. <laughs> I've had my nose run on camera while. before. I'm no slub. <laughs> yeah, it's all healthy stuff. That's good stuff. Luckily, I don't mind doing the ugly cry where people can see. <laughs> One thing I will add to that is that now is the you know time, just as we talked about the um, the key of compassion that we've we've all collectively got to that point to give that out. Now is a time to intentionally, knowingly, demonstrably do our parts in the unbinding and the unwinding. And, and for those that will ask, what, what, can you expound on that a little bit? What is, you know, like, um, like, like I said earlier to you, am, am I doing enough? What, what else can I do, you know, for me personally? And I'm sure that there's going to be, you know, folks that do, because I, you know, I've, I, I now have quite a few folks that do watch almost every video I put out. And thank you for that, by the way. But I, so, and I'm, so I'm, I'm now starting to hear those questions very similar to you. What, what can I do it, or am I doing enough or, you know, this, I mean, I'm sitting here right now having that question in my mind. Is there something else I could do? I want to be. I think, I think you're doing everything beautifully just the way you are. And, and really what I, what I see is, the, the bulk of each of our journeys, um, no matter who you are, the bulk of those is to hold space for yourself, to be gentle with yourself, and allow yourself to be whoever and whatever it is that you naturally are. And then when you know what that is, to give voice to that. And that's all a process. It takes energy. It takes now moments. It takes some solitude. It takes relationships. It takes all of this stuff. And a lot of times in order for us to progress in our spiritual journeys, we might feel like we're in somewhat of a void because we're waiting for the other people that we need to interact with to kind of get to where they need to be on their spiritual journeys for, you know, the next act to start. So you're, if you know, if you're cleansing your consciousness and you're unwinding and unbinding from the old and, you know, having a new relationship with how you generate perceptions and take on new ideas and behavior going forward, like that's a, that's a process that could really use training wheels that doesn't have training wheels on it yet, except for the ones that we give ourselves. And I just see you smack dab in the bullseye of of where you're supposed to be. Yeah, and if you want to, you know, if, if, if people want to stay in the moment of the question of, you know, what can I do or am I doing enough or is there more I can do or, you know, however you want to hold that if that's something you choose to hold for a moment. Um, then I would say there is one thing that you can do if you feel moved to and you want to play with that. And that is to consciously choose that you will make the commitment to you, because that's the only one that it's to, is to make that your highest priority, to be committed fully to um, holding your, your 
predominant vibration be the highest, most expansive vibration it can in each moment and mm -hmm. to keep raising it. Wow, so I did cry when I made like that. <laughs> some days it's going to go like that, you know, right? But, but if that's your commitment and you will do whatever it takes because you chose it, it's a free, we're in a free will zone here, so you have to choose it. So if you choose it, and, and, and you keep, sometimes you know you need to course correct. And sometimes you may need to do that a million times in five minutes. But once you're there, so it will look different to everybody and will feel different. And there'll be a lot of similarities. There'll be a lot of divergent things on the path. But just that choice point, if you want to, and, and you know, if I was to give you any directive on that, I would say play with it. Because, you know, haven't we done eons of <laughs> the drudgery and the muck and mire stuff? So, you know, just try playing with it, you know, as a new, <laughs> new approach to something. But that would be the one thing I, I would feel is the most important thing if someone wants to play with the idea of, of not, can I do more, what, you know, that. And it's not a small thing at all. It's... it's um, <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. Versus in size. <laughs> no, you're right. It's not a small thing, especially when you, you know, <laughs> you don't ask what somebody else's perception is. Previous video. <laughs> <laughs> because in uh, because that's that's been my my experience. Wow. And it's in, you know, so, so people are like, well, what, 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 where, what, what, where, you know, where's the, where's this unbinding taking place and where do I unbind it? Where? It's everywhere. It's happening because all of it is of a piece. It's all connected. It's all intertwined. It's all an inside job. Each one of us has a vital role to play um, and um, we're needed. We really are needed. We're all in this together. Uh, it's not something outside of ourselves that so we don't kick back in a chair, you know, waiting for the next memo video or the, or the, or the next, what are we on, memo three or something now, you know, you know, kind of a thing, just to use that as an example. Um, so is there something that's catching your eye or that you're drawn to or, you know, that you have – you feel moved to do. So do you have a nudge about something and that something could be within your own body or your own being or in your own space in your room, if you live alone or with others or in your own, you know, and so on and so on and so forth. Um, so you get, that's the beauty of it. You get to choose, you get to commit and you get to at first glimpse like Sheila was just showing you and then smile at and dance with and revel in and oh yeah, baby, I'm boogieing now in, you know, all the benefits of that unbinding and winding because not only, so here's another way maybe to hold it is that in, you, in all the unbinding and unwinding, you actually are this amazing cosmic gardener and you're growing the new earth simultaneously. Because why? Because you're multidimensional and, you know, there is no past, present, future. We got to do this and we're going to do this. And, you know, we're, we're, we're doing it all now. And I know this space. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, it's just amazing what everybody's doing. I know based on my journey, Sheila, I find myself doing things, making decisions, you know, exhibiting behaviors that I never dreamed that I'd be doing. And sometimes in that moment, not knowing why I'm really doing this. And, and some of those uh, examples are, uh, you know, recorded out there on, on my YouTube channel as part of my YouTube presence. And there was just, there was no way that I could not make some of those videos. Um, when, when I first made, uh, 
made an affirmation of grace to align my will with the divine will, uh, there was a flood of interesting changes that happened. And uh, among those was finding myself making videos. And, 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 you know, having a huge presence on YouTube really isn't, uh, isn't something that I desire or want, but, but to, to know that I am sitting here and I've taken in some observations that are freely available, uh, you know, through the internet or through life. And I put them together in such a way that not too many people have the, the raw material, the raw perceptions to see things this way, then, wow, it's just that light, it comes bursting forth there. There wasn't anything that I could do to <laughs> ease the feelings inside of me other than to make those videos. So I don't, if there's something else that you should be doing, uh, you're going to know it. You, you're going to be doing it and you're going to be like, I don't know why I'm doing this. I guess this is just something that I want to do. It, it, you're going to be led by the excitement. And just as you said, with your with your channel that you made, you could do this all day long, every day, and just hold the space. And that is, you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. You're holding a space in a forum just for conversations, for this light to get out. You're doing it. Right. Okay. And, and you, um, you said, back in one of those videos... <laughs> You know, um, about no longer pushing aside my nudges. Yeah, I'll get to that later. I'll put it on the list. I'll do it, you know. So, again, if, if people really want to no, tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. Okay, well, I'm not going to ever do that. But I'll give you something you might want to play with. And that is um, when you get those nudges, Act on them. Listen to it. And, it. and if you're, you know, at work and whatever, and, you know, you think it would be pretty funny and comical when you look at my phone. I have to have my phone as part of what I do in my linear job. And so I get nudges and, you know, sometimes they're big nudges and it's like, really? You're kidding me, right? Right? And I can't, because of my linear job, at that moment do it. But I can take out my phone and hit the memo, which is a recording note thingy, and you know, as if I had a personal assistant and a whole cadre of people who could line up all these things for me, right? And do it, and then it gets emailed to me. I just when I'm done with whatever that you know nudge is that came through, and the thoughts that came through it, and maybe the next things of you know how I might come to that or expansion mode, whatever it is. And then I finish, finish, it will automatically email it to myself. And so then I go back about my linear thing because I have to have a job and, you know, all that so on. So for things, and this is for, I'm saying this because this is for people who have these questions. Well, I got to do X, Y, I got it. Great. But there are ways, so get it, you don't have that? Take a piece of paper and a pencil or a crayon. You know, so there, if you, if you are making that commitment, if you choose to make that commitment and you choose to use the uh, tool of playing with, of not, of not letting those nudges go aside, you know, and I do it. And then I can see some, some days if I'm fully ensconced in my linear job, there's a big cue <laughs> in the email <laughs> of, you know, nudges as they come through. And then for me, they may highlight, okay, of all that, because that was, see, I did follow the nudge right away is what I'm trying to say. I may not have taken it all the way through, or I may not have gone through all the expansion or the actual linear steps and this and the other thing. But in doing that, I have honored my soul and the commitment that we have with each other. And so I have gone forward with that. So then what a fun thing that happens is when I look at my email and there's all those lines, you know, when you see the emails come through and I could click on one and open it up and there's my voice talking and, you know, whatever, and the energy that comes through of the nudge and all of that, right? So it's an energetic envelope. So I could open each one, but oftentimes what I can do is say, okay, show me 
and they will move in the way that they're li lined up in the email, you know, so, and some will highlight or color, uh, you know, they, for me, the way it works is they, they, they will have a color that comes around them. Kind of, you know, if I was to take a, a, a pen, a certain color, and it illuminates for me. <clears throat> so and I feel great and can jettison the rest. And so if I understand what you're saying here correctly, as you then look at your list of emails, your creator being you as creator being show me what's the most important or what's highlighted and you're, you, you, are able to see which ones will light up for you. Okay. So that's, that's very interesting. That's yeah. That what you're describing BZ uh, happens to me in other facets of, of my life too. Um, I don't know. Most notably, like if, if I'm <clears throat> lining up a pool shot or something, there might be a little chalk mark on the table that all of a sudden just seems to get brighter. I know that that's my aim spot. I, I won't know why, but I'll, I'll sometimes I'll be like, whoa, that's way off, but I'll hit it there anyway. And something different, but magical will happen. It doesn't happen on every shot, but sometimes it's just, oh, the universe is trying to get my attention here. And I know nobody else can see it. It's just the way my brain is interpreting my environment. It's just, wow, making this particular area a little bit brighter. It's, it, it, it's really subtle, but yet blatant at the same time. Right. And that's a beautiful, right there, right there, is a beautiful illustration of unwinding and unbinding within your own personal sphere. So on many levels, so um, it's helping you undo the constraints of the separate um, disparateness of Danny as just a guy, you know, flesh and blood, born, works, does whatever, and is worm food to the truth of who you are. It's, un it's unwinding your smallness, it's unwinding the, a lot of programs that were given to you that you, in a large measure, a lot of times, as we've already talked about, taken on, right? Um, it's, it's, and it's, as it unwinds all those things, it's unwinding just the five senses. It's, it's, so remember I said it's not only unwinding and unbinding, which is big, but at the same time, it's that flower right? The tight bud is opening and sometimes it's just a little. So your eye comes, your, your inner communications, your inner tech, um, you know, this body that you're walking around in is one hell of an amazing thing beyond just, you know, how some people may perceive it as. And so in that you're getting those gifts. And so there's a, a reciprocity in the exchange of energy that occurs in your commitment to, um, you know, in that moment, yes, you were playing pool and it was fun, and the, but there's that commitment to that fun, to that moment of that focus and that intention. And the, the gift that you gave to yourself was, you know, the little chalk mark and the see and notice and, and paying, you know, paying with playing of that energy. And then you can then do it with other things. I mean, I just happened to notice that, it, I mean, mention that it comes up in the email because it's the same thing when I do things for the IUV. There's, you know, different tabs open. And, um, and as the energy, so going back to the nudges, so as you play with those nudges, and they're all points of connection, you with you, and into what it is, that you agree to do and everything that's unfolding right this moment on this planet and all. And as they come in and they connection, each point is basically an energetic frequency and you're playing with it. And as they combine, now they've shifted and changed things. So you're not the same in my example, I'm not the same being at the same rate at the same expansion that I was when the first one got recorded and it got sent. 
If I did, ten, let's say I did 10 in a day, just as a placeholder. But the way, because they're all thought forms, they're actually in not only our end, I would write in that moment, here's another thing. So I think from a linear standpoint, our brain, am I doing enough? And I don't know what to do. And I, I got to do this. I can't do that. And you know, all I can, okay. Just. So here's the beauty of it. It's, it's a simple beauty and it is a ginormous, very impactful, very large beauty. In just the commitment that you have made to yourself, because there's nobody else exists, it's just you and you. And doing those nudges, and, and I do it using my phone. You don't have to, you know, and it, it's, you know, you don't get a failing grade if you don't, none of that. That's all linear stuff, okay? But in doing that, in playing with that, you have actually been involved in unbinding and winding, not only in your own sphere, in your own body, whatever that nudge was about, but guess what? You've been involved in, actively participating in, in an expansive way, in doing the unbinding and the unwinding of what? What? Everything. All and everything. Right. Because whereas you are a beautiful being that is, you know, sovereign and singular, going to factualize, you are actually all one at the same time. Yeah, so each each act of self-care that's one word self-care self-attention um following those nudges uh self-observation the noticing that you've spoken about each act of that even if and always directed only right here for me contributes to that unbinding and unwinding of the all because of that fact that we are the all and the singular at once. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no wonder that feels so huge. Yeah. And, and also we've talked about this before. It's, um, as you make that commitment, you know, to you, um, and you honor it, then there is testing that goes on. You know, are, are you listening? <laughs> are you hearing me now? And, and, um, and so those nudges will, will shift and change and expand and get bigger and, you know, um, but, but because you're recommitting to you. Which, here's an inside tip, that's all. So you're recommitting to you, right? You're making that commitment to you, which is all. It's what you agreed to do. And you, yeah, you can pick a specific thing something in the news, you know, something in one of these videos that collectively or individually we've you know, put out, something, anything on the internet, anything within your, your family, anything in your job, anything, anything anywhere. And you can look at a specific thing and just notice, is there something that you feel nudged to do? And sometimes those nudges are really, really, really subtle. Mm -hmm. And if you have one and you go, eh, or brushing it off, there's a point of unwinding and unbinding. So what was it, right? What's the, where is the integration? How can you come into contact with that? You know, you, especially if you find, and this is a, a really common occurrence, where 
you know, are we there yet? Has this happened yet? I want this, you know, someone will let me do that. Whatever it is, they get a nudge. I'm busy or I got to work. I can do this, whatever it is. Okay. <laughs> They're not mutually exclusive of each other. <laughs> they are connected. So, you know, um, there's a point of unwinding and a bunny. Okay, just notice. Just notice those two things. Where is the correlation? Where is the my you know my um, my perception of that? Or, or you know, so you can start very tiny, very soft, however it is, and you know you you because you do everybody has really big amazing and you know from a linear perspective they're big things just to hold it that way for a minute um and the ship won't sail and the train hasn't left the building and you know whatever euphemisms that you want to use from a linear perspective you, you'll get to that in the right thing I'm freezing right now. <laughs> <laughs> that happens when I when when energy is running through me. I because before we started the, this conversation, I was wondering if we accidentally turned the heat up in here because I was too warm. Well, what you just gave a beautiful illustration is, you know, we need to have a ticker at the bottom that has like footnotes to say C video <laughs> 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 whatever, right? You know. So the heating up is the burning off. Of, that's the responses of your physiological body. The heating up is the burning off of programs. And the cooling down is the more of your plasma energy, which is an expansive energy that's coming in. And so that's where you feel that differential. Yeah, I am absolutely freezing. It's just, I, I, my hands are freezing and I feel I'm actually shaking. I'm so cold. Yeah, but you're going quantum, baby, so it's all good. <laughs> yes, because I do keep going dizzy. That's the way, that's the way I felt uh, when, well, just prior to my, my Christ consciousness uh, experience, um, just seeing some of my affirmations manifest instantly right in front of my eyes when I was by myself, you know, just driving on the highway um, in Arizona and it totally blew my reality and I drove the rest of the way in silence and my hands were so cold and by the time I got to the hotel room I just fully clothed jumped under all the covers and everything and was just shivering and shivering and shivering until I realized oh somebody's listening to my affirmations I said I feel warm I feel ease 30 seconds later, I was sweating my ass off. So you're right there. We caught it all <laughs> live on camera. <laughs> yeah, she used to that. We do that a lot. <laughs> yes, I, I, I am by now used to that. But it's not just Sheila in the, in the single room. Because she agreed to do this. Yes, this is true. I did. I, I, I on the beach there at the final meeting. You know, yes. ready, hot, hot, go. <laughs> yes, I think I was trying to run from it for a long, long time, and I think I was actually trying to run again in November. But <laughs> I, I, I finally recommitted to myself, actually, because that's what that was. A, a, a committing to myself and um wow well i didn't expect this out of this conversation <laughs> you both looked at me and said why do we want to talk about that <laughs> well i'll be honest with you okay here's how that went i i really i really liked the idea that um danny talked about but i had this sense that it wasn't supposed to be that and so that that is exactly why i said so 
do we want to do that or is there something else? Because I don't usually mind whatever we want to talk about. I just want to talk, you know, that or, or you know, discuss, conversate because I love doing this. You followed a note. But I I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> See, so there you go. Step one, step two, step three. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. And I am freezing. <laughs> and my, I don't know where my, my, I was going to, I'm looking for a blanket or something. Ooh, normally I keep something out here, but I don't have anything out here right now. Oh, Start affirming word. that you're warm. There you go. Start affirming that you're warm. Yeah, you can call it in. That's the other thing, you know, in the unbinding and unwinding, you're gonna people are gonna feel and see and sense and experience various different things and and you know we've all kind of given you some of that intentionally and perhaps unintentionally <laughs> tonight in this particular conversation but um you know we are creative beings so we can communicate and um say i'm all in and i and i choose to do this and i commend you know all that kind of stuff but you can also um uh Put in some of, of um, you could frame them as requests, you could frame them as, you know, a conversation with your soul and all that. You can frame them in different ways, but you can give voice to how you want it, you know, um, to flow a bit. You, you don't, can't get everything you ask for because you don't have the perspective big enough to see all of that. But. Well, you can certainly ask to be warm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, Are you toasty? I, I, <laughs> the fastest turnaround times that, that I've had uh, from affirmation to manifestation have been when I've asked for what a particular state of being inside in my consciousness, like ease or peace, um, or just, you know, something you know, physiological, like, you know, I, I feel warm or wow, I'm too hot. I feel cool. Or, you know, I, I feel satisfied. You know, if I'm thinking about my appetite, those things like that uh, just seem to, wow, they can, they can be returned really quickly. There, there's not a whole lot of, well, I guess, prep time for grace to, to send those. So. Well, I, as I was sitting here, just you know saying i'm warm i'm i'm warm i am warm because it dawned on me i was saying i'm freezing yeah you said it like three times and you kept getting yes. colder yeah. <laughs> yes so that's why when 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 you said that i was like well wait a minute yes i can do that but see, again, that's another unbinding and unwinding because what do you do? You looked around outside of yourself. I did. You're right. Somebody, I was something, for... help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Where's Lisa with my blanket? Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. Damn her. <laughs> well, because, oh, and there, is, look, there is one back there on that chair. But I didn't see it there, and I didn't see it over no, there. No, but that's how, that's the point, isn't it? That's Because awesome. that's an illustration of unwinding and unbinding. Yes, it is. And now I'm actually Danny feeling just... a bit over warm. <laughs> <laughs> so, so actually, would that then be a rep? No, I'm serious. I'm feeling a bit over warm. So would that then be an unbinding and an unwinding of a program because you mentioned before that being over warm can actually be from the burning off of yeah, a program. So my realization, if you look back at the video, if you backed up the video, you'll watch when Sheila become goes from just comfy warm, right? If we're going to use that 
to overwarm. It's when we were having a conversation about, you know, as people often do, they look around outside of themselves. If you time stamp the video, that's when she shifted to getting overwarm. Yeah. yeah, you you, uh, you took on a new perception that, hey, I can control this. And so your old perception that you had to look outside yourself was burned off. Oh, wow. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. That so, is exactly what she so said. So we're real time here. It's Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we caught it live. It's elusive. <laughs> wow, that okay. is Awesome. Man, oh man, this is the uh, this is the most awesome thing I've 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 had happen to date. Yes. <laughs> well, and this is a good another illustration of all three of us in coherence, right? In this expansion, in this is an energetic envelope, make no mistake about it, and there's and, and, and there's expansion in that, right? It's not just in this envelope because this envelope is what? It's out in all. So that's why people have remarked to you, Sheila, they can come in, they can feel it, experience it. But it's really a, a beautiful illustration of how, how we can really play with this and that um, yeah, sometimes let's face it. It's you know there's going to be hard work. Okay, well, it just is. But haven't you kind of been doing hard work all your life with not a whole bunch of fun stuff, you know, rewarding to it? So, so what this is illustrating is that that this is you know I I gave a pale description, a very pale description of it at the very beginning. You know, so click back to the beginning when we we're talking about this, of how wonderful this is and what it really is just the beginning of that tight bud the flower you know unfolding and there's so many cool toys and tools and experiences and games and whatever you know you want to puppies whatever, whatever your you know kind of metaphor is in there you know um to to c come out of it you know, if you watch some, you know, you, maybe you watch the Jetsons and the, the, the cool thing, and I want to do that, or I don't want to. Well, okay, you've got all access to all of that and can avail yourself of all that in different ways. Um, and, you know, but waiting <laughs> for someone, something, some whatever, you, you know, won't get you there. Because uh, even when, when what's that? I said, especially when you're waiting for them to author a perception from a place of knowing. If that's if if that's the hurdle that you're waiting for, you'll be waiting forever because that's how grace sends us the experience to know that we're supposed to grab a hold of our power. Right, and you and will not only will you be waiting forever, kind of from a linear standpoint, but because it's an inside job and you need to bring it to you. Even if, you know, you looked around and there's 52 million beings over there and they've all got to go on doing the happy dance. You're still going to be waiting. <laughs> Yet you can change it in an instant. Why? Because you did it. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I'm, I'm ready to be one of those beings doing the happy dance. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> Thank you both so much. This is the most, like I said, this has been the most, you know, I've, I've, I've cried and snotted on camera and now, now I got the opportunity to, to freeze and warm myself up on camera. <laughs> you are unwound and unbound. <laughs> Well, there are those in my life that would tell you I've always been unbound and well, maybe not unbound, but unwound. <laughs> wow. Thank well, you. cool. Yeah, this has really been very cool. Playing's fun. 
Yes, playing is fun. And no wonder I want to do this all the time, <laughs> every day. <laughs> wow. All right. So shall we, it, sh shall we close this energetic envelope? Yeah, it feels like the right place. You guys are awesome, though. I mean, thank you so much for agreeing to come and play with me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Thanks for the safe space. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I will be putting a link both to BZ's blog at the IUV and a link to Lunacy's channel in the video in the show more section of this video, along with how to join Conscious Conversation Central Facebook page and my email address. And please put add me in the subject line if you want to be a part of the PPC squad which is really just my email list. No, that I it's much more than that. Okay, yes. <laughs> well, it may be much more than that very, very soon. <laughs> anyway, that's how I can keep in touch with you to let you know when it's going to be much more than that. <laughs> so thank you both again. I can't wait till we can do this again. Big hug, yeah. guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> thank you. Man, you